So I just thought I'd do kind of a quick update and show you guys uh, something of a comparison between the shard that I've got growing in the soil and the shard I've got growing in the aquaponics and uh, the video bombing dog, of course. In addition to that, I wanted to show you uh, something that's really kind of just blowing me away is I want to show you the sunflowers that I planted in the soil at the same time as the one that I put in the aquaponics. And, uh, well, I think you'll be able to see the difference yourself. Let's take a look at the shard first, though. It's just right over here. So here we have last year's shard, you know, which this could be bolting, but I really think it's going to seed. Let's take kind of a nice close look at that. Very solid little beads, and uh, they, they go all the way up the plant. It's put very little effort into leaf production this year. So I think what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to cut off a lot of these lower sections that have seeds going on them just so I can force the plant's energy into the top ones that are getting the most of the sun and uh, hopefully will bring me some good quality seeds. But I mean, that's clearly not bolting because beside it here, I have some first year shard. Exact same weather conditions, you know, same environment. It's, there's the second year shard. There's the first year shard, right? So it's clearly not bolting from the heat or anything. This shard's coming along quite nicely. I'm pretty happy with that, but I think you'll see in a moment it really, it just doesn't compare to what I've got in the aquaponics bed. But let's take a look at those sunflowers that I've got going in the soil before we take a look at the aquaponics today. While we're at it, let's take a look at these leeks too. These are the ones that I planted out not that long ago. And you can see that's, you know, this is kind of the prize of the bin, this one here in the middle. And it's it's got some pretty decent size to it. But I do have one leak that I put into the aquaponic system because Philly Aquaponic asked me, you know, hey, do you have any in there? And I figured, you know what, I don't. <laughs> I'll give that a try. So we'll check in on that one in a second too. Let's look at these sunflowers. So this is kind of where I tend to put my sunflowers all the time. I've got sun chokes that'll be growing in that big blue barrel there. You know, these, these guys are not doing too bad. You know, it's a, a foot, maybe. 18 inches tall, not too bad for an end of May sunflower. Let's take a look at the one in the aquaponics system that I have no choice but to move up front and into a bucket. Now, I don't know what I was thinking when I put this, uh, this sunflower into the aquaponic bed. I guess I was thinking, let's just see. My lens fogging over in the heat? Let's just take a look at this thing through the fog if we can. Now that I've cleaned off the lens for a second here, let's take a look at that sunflower. So here you have it. This thing was planted the exact same day as those ones that are outside. I took it from their seedling tray, plumped it into the aquaponics, and now I've got no choice but to move it because it's pushing up against the plastic. And if I leave it too much longer, it's gonna provide, uh, well, just way more stress than I think that plastic's prepared to deal with at this point. It is really fogging up my camera in here. But that thing is just huge. It's got to be at least three feet out of the aquaponic bed. So, I said something about an aquaponic leak, and I wasn't kidding. Here you have that. It's definitely the tallest of all the leaks that I've got going. It's got a nice sturdy base to it. But I'm just not sure how much that's going to grow. It's six inches deep in that bed, so it doesn't have a lot of potential. But what I really am impressed by, this is also first year shard. This comes from the same seed planting as the ones out front. And look at that. There's my hand. There's the shard leaf. There's another one. There's another one. So if you're looking for a decent cash type crop to put into an aquaponic system, around here, you know, shard will go for somewhere in the vicinity of $4 a pound. So that might be worth considering. So that's it, just a super quick update on the, those few things that I've got going on here and uh, kind of a comparison because it's all about experimentation in my garden and in my greenhouse. I want to see what I can grow in the aquaponic system, how long I can grow it, whether or not I'm going to need to transfer it to somewhere else. Clearly that sunflower is going to need to be transferred. The shard will be okay. I'm going to let that leak grow out until I'm ready to harvest it and then uh, we'll see if 
you know, it does better than the ones outside, then I might seriously con consider building something uh, a little more permanent as a, a leak station, maybe 10, 12 inches deep, just to give the roots more room for the blanching and uh, all of that jazz. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.